Hello, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of Twitter in 30 Minutes, as well as Google Drive and Docs in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Today I'm going to be talking about how to sell a PDF of anything, really, on your website. And I do this right now with my books. So Twitter in 30 Minutes, if you go to twitter.in30minutes.com, and you go, you'll see the, uh, pro the books that I have offered here. I have paperback editions and Kindle and iTunes and Barnes and & Noble. Then there's a link here that says PDF, and if you click on it, this is what you see. Uh, a, this pop-up appears, or this new tab appears, and it shows Twitter in 30 minutes, a PDF. Uh, download a copy. We use secure uh, website. And you just click on this. It says the price here. Click on it, and then you would enter your card information and pay for it. So uh, you may wonder, well, how do I do that? And also, you may also wonder, why don't I just use WooCommerce? And WooCommerce is a plugin that I use on my website. It's created by WordPress, actually, to sell stuff. And I actually sell the paperback editions of my books and other products using the WooCommerce plugin on in30minutes.com. And it's actually quite effective. But I don't sell PDFs this way, even though I could. And one of the reasons I don't do that is because WooCommerce, if you offer PDFs that way, um, it's just kind of like a naked PDF that people can download. There's no real security features in there, and the other platform I use is much more effective at doing that, and I'll explain to you what it is. So let's go back here. If you click on the PDF, it, you'll see the URL says gumroad.com. And Gumroad, in fact, is the service I'm using to sell the PDFs. And let's take a look and see how it works. So here's the Gumroad dashboard. And you can see I do a small amount of sales through Gumroad. And you can actually, if you go to gumroad.com, you can see that you can sell all kinds of products, uh, PDFs, physical products. You can set up subscriptions and things like that. And I've experimented with some of the physical products and subscriptions, but I really think that the PDF feature is actually uh, the killer feature here. And this is why. So first of all, it's really easy to create a new form. Click on Products. Add a product. I'll give you two options. For, the, for this, we use digital product. You can set a pre-order if you want. Pretty cool. So I'm going to just say, call this test PDF. Choose your files. So let's see if I can find something from my computer that I can choose. That's for the, relatively easy to get. Um, let's do iPhone and iPhone and. Uh, in 30 minutes. Actually, I actually have a PDF I can use. Okay. So I'm going to use this PDF that I've created. This is a version of my book. Um, you can set the price. It says $7.99 because that's what I sell all of them for. But if I wanted to, I could like make this a little cheaper or more expensive. Here's the, here's the PDF. And then it says Next, Customize. You click that. And what they want you to do here is to upload a cover if I can find one. Uh, I probably have an image somewhere. Okay. Okay, I am going to use this one. Okay. So there's the phone, co there's the cover of the book. And then uh, download a PDF of my new book. All right, that's just for test services. Save changes. It's important to see if you want to offer any options. <coughs> so one thing that I do, actually, let's just publish it right now. It's actually ready to go right now. Here's the link. Click this little icon. OK, I just copied that. And let's see what it looks like. Whoops, didn't copy it. Let's try that again. I'm going to copy that. OK, here it is. Isn't that easy? I just created a form to sell this thing. It took like literally two minutes to do it. It has the price there. If someone wanted to buy it, they would. Now, you have to set up, there's, of course, it's, there's other steps you have to take too. Besides registering with Gumroad, you have to um, you know, set up a, I'm a, I run a business, so I have a business account. Um, there's information that you have to provide so that they know that you're a legitimate actor and not someone trying to scam people. 
there's all there's all kinds of other requirements too, and of course that will take time. But once you have the account going, it's really easy to create these down these uh, forms. And the other thing you can do with the forms is you can actually make them overlays on your own website. So instead of showing up as a separate URL, Gumroad.com, it actually kind of magically appears on your website with your own URL, and then people can com complete the transaction. One other thing I wanted to uh, do here is to show some options. And I use, here's one option that I use all the time, offers. Uh, give discounts by creating an offer and sharing it with your audience. Okay, so let's just call this uh, 25 off. Okay, so 25 off means 25% off. So I'm gonna, so this is a $5 product. So let's $1.25 off. Save changes, and then you can copy the link. All right, see how the new version of that form has a discounted amount, 374, that's 25% off. So you could share that link, like with your newsletter subscribers or to special customers or whatever. That's really convenient. And then finally, the other thing that's really important for this is there's an option on the front page on, when you're editing it. Stamp PDF with the buyer's information. I like to do this. It's not a perfect security mechanism, but I think it helps a lot if the person's PD if the person's email address and information is on the PDF that they purchase. It makes it less likely that they're going to distribute it for free. It's not impossible, uh, but if they do it, that's uh, like they they buy the PDF and then they post it online somewhere for everyone to download. Uh, you at least know how to go back, who to go back to to, uh, to contact them to resolve the problem. Uh, for more information on how to get the most out of different types of software tools, including Twitter, Google Drive, and Docs, we even have a book called Online Content Marketing in 30 Minutes. Go to in30minutes.com, and we also have lots of videos that you can watch too. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.